Welcome to your Korea Update. I'm Army Sergeant Moses Ward. June 25th marked the 62nd anniversary of the start of the Korean War. Private Woo Yun Jo joined war veterans that came together on Yongsan to celebrate their service. U.S. and Filipino veterans visited 8th Army Headquarters to commemorate the 62nd anniversary of the start of the Korean War. I had a unique opportunity to speak with one of the vets and also listen to General Johnson offer his deepest gratitude. There were not two bricks stacked one on top of the other. Look at what happened. Look what your sacrifice has enabled Korea to do. But it was only capable, it was only made possible by the sacrifices of you and your fellows alongside our Korean patriots defending this country and preserving it for today and for the future. The area that I, I saw up north of, of Pyongyang isn't part of South Korea. It should be a unified Korea, free and, and independent the way it is right now down here. Uh, it was just tremendous. I feel honored and respected. Uh, you know, when, when I came home at, at, in America, this was, uh, what, are you crazy? What the hell are you doing fighting somebody else's war, you know? Uh, but to realize how much of an impact and how much we are honored and respected for World War II, uh, and, you know, the help for our uh, free and stay free makes everything we went through worthwhile. Katusa Private Wee Eun Jo, Seoul, Korea. The best way to honor Korean war heroes is to ensure today's service members learn from them and never forget their sacrifice. That was your Korea Update. I'm Army Sergeant Moses Ward.